So what was the role of uh, Rio or Wizzo uh, in the 14 display? Best seat in the house is the best <laughs> way to describe it. Uh, you know, you, you're really a backup co-pilot. Um, one of the key things from a demo standpoint is getting where show center is. Uh, sometimes it can be easy because the Blue Angels are parked out on the flight line and you can say, hey, that's kind of show center. Other times it's pretty difficult. I remember we did one uh, in uh, off the coast of New Jersey in um, Atlantic City. And of all things, the Trump Hotel was <laughs> oh. show center. Uh, nice. We, we, could, we couldn't find the Trump Hotel, but we, we spotted it. Uh, uh, to, to get really get uh, started. And, and show center is really kind of where everything starts from. It's your, your anchor point for the show. Uh, when you're into the show, you're really calling out airspeeds and altitudes as the Rio. You're making sure, hey, the new, uh, the next maneuver is, uh, you know, such and such. Uh, you're really a safety observer as well, making sure that you're at the right altitude. Um, air shows take place at 200 feet above the ground level mm -hmm. and so that makes it really challenging both from a, a pilot standpoint to to make sure that you've uh, you've, you've hit your numbers and you're not going to go below those numbers because if you do you don't have a lot of time to correct mm -hmm. and obviously like air shows are a big thing uh, did you get people at the fence you know like you know fans were like i want to talk to you and stuff like that did you get that in your um your your time as a demo reel I think that's part of the job. Uh, you're there because you're a representative of the Navy and certainly Naval Aviation and the F-14 community. Your goal is to get folks interested in it, whether you're a seven-year-old uh, kid who's yeah. first time he's ever been in an air show or a, uh, an old guy who has been in the Navy or you know had a relationship with the Navy at some point. You're an ambassador for the Navy. And so that was probably one of the best parts, uh, getting to meet folks, talk to them everybody's got a story uh you want to listen to what they've got to say they've got a lot of questions um but it's a lot of fun too uh, because you're showing off the the jet and um you know to be clear it, it's something that nearly every one of the guys at the rag could have done uh it's it's part of just you know our training and the way naval aviation works makes it so that uh, you could replace somebody and and make them a demo pilot as well did you feel like it was a privileged position? Like, oh, people want to actually talk to me. Did you feel like that uh, going through? Well, you, you try to not let it go to your head, certainly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I still have folks reach out to uh, today that, uh, that you know, will have questions or, or want to talk about it. Um, it was a fantastic, you know, time of uh, my life and getting to basically do something that not many people get to do. Yeah. Um, probably one of the best things is you've got friends and family that come to watch the air show. Uh, and so yeah, getting to do good. that, you know, folks don't understand what you do. They don't yeah. see, they don't, they don't fly up there with you, but when they're on the ground and they can see the jet go by, it kind of puts a little bit more, um, I guess, uh, credence into it is probably what I would say. So it was a, it was definitely a privileged position. You know, it was so privileged that we had uh, two guys from our team uh, Obi Wally and Linus Schwartz uh, both went on to be Blue Angels after wow. their time in the Tomcat demo team. So that's awesome. 